Let's take a look at solving systems of equations using the elimination method. The elimination method allows us to solve systems by eliminating or getting rid of one of the variables when we have two. So for example, in this first set of equations, we have 4a and minus 4a. If we would add those two equations together, the 4a's are going to cancel out. That would allow us to just have the b, which we can solve for. Then we'll turn around, we'll put that back in for the b, solve for a, and we've got our solution. Let's take a look at how it works. So we have, in this first one, the 4a and the minus 4a. I already said those are going to cancel out, so we have no a's. Then we've got 3b plus b, which is just 1b, remember. If there's no number in front of the variable, there's 1. So 3b's and 1b's gives us a total of 4b's. Then that's going to be equal to 7 plus 5, which is 12. Then here's an equation that hopefully is familiar that we can solve. We're going to go ahead and get the b by itself. We do so by dividing by 4 on both sides. So we're left with just b equals 3. Now, to get the a, we've got our b, we need to get the a. We can take that 3 and put it back into one of the equations for the b. I'm going to put it in this top one just because that's where I drew my line. We've got 4a then plus 3 times b, which is 3 we found, and that's going to be equal to 7. Okay, now we're going to solve this equation for a. So we simplify first. That 3 times 3 gives us 9. That's going to be still equal to 7. Now we want to get the a by itself, remember, so we'll get rid of the plus 9. So minus 9, minus 9, we're left with 4a equals negative 2. Then we've got to get that a by itself. It's being multiplied by 4. Get rid of it by doing the opposite. So we divide by 4, both sides of course, and we're left with a equals negative 1 half. We could also make that into a decimal, it would be negative 0.5. Now, when we have variables other than x and y, um, we want to write it to an ordered pair. We need to just put them in alphabetical order. So rather than having x, y, in this case we have a, b. So it would be a is negative one half, and b is three. Now, that solution should work in either one of these equations, and I'll leave that to you to check out. But trust me, I think it does. Now, let's look at this next one. In this case, we have y's which are similar, but they're not opposites. They're both plus y. So in order to have them cancel out when we add the two equations together, we need to make them into opposites. We can do so by multiplying one of the equations through by something that will make that 1y an opposite. Well, that would be negative 1. So let's just go ahead and multiply this top one through by negative 1. So I'm just going to rewrite it down below here. So negative 1 times x would be negative x. Then negative 1 times y would be negative y. And then negative 1 times negative 7 would be positive 7. OK, now I have opposites in my y's. So when I add the two equations together, the y's are going to cancel out. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 3x minus x, which would give us 2x plus y minus y. That goes away. And then that's equal to negative 9 plus 7, which would be negative 2. OK, we're almost there. Let's get that to x by itself. We do that by doing the opposite. This is times 2, so divide by 2, both sides. We're left with just x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Now we've got our x, so let's go ahead and put that back in up here for x. You could do it in either equation. I'm just going to do it in the top one. So we've got negative 1, because that's our x plus y equals negative 7. Okay, solve for y. We want to get rid of the negative 1, so we're going to go ahead and add 1 to both sides. So we just are left with y equals negative 7 plus 1 would be 
negative 6. All right, so we've got our x and y. Now again, like I said, we can test this out and make sure it works. So substitute those back in, and it, they should work in both equations. Let's put them into the first one. x is negative 1, so I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. Negative 1, then plus y, which is minus 6, equals negative 7. Is that true? Sure is. So we're good there. Then the second one, if we put them in, we have 3 times negative 1, which is our x, plus y, which is negative 6, and that's equal to negative 9. Well, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus negative 6 is, oops, I lost my negative, there it is, negative 9, sure enough, so it works. Okay, so the ordered pair for our solution of this system is negative 1, negative 6. All right, last one. Let's say sometimes we have a situation where it's not easy. We can't just multiply through by negative 1 to make the uh, one of the variables into opposites. Sometimes we have to multiply both of the equations by something. Um, we can do basically anything we want, but sometimes there's easier ways to do it. In this one, let's see, hmm, how about we make the a's into negative 6 and 6a. So to do that, I'm going to multiply this first equation through by negative 3. So that's going to give me negative 6a, which is what I want. And I'm going to multiply the second equation through by positive 2. Then when I multiply the 2 and the 3a, that gives me positive 6a. Then I'll have negative 6a and 6a, which will cancel out, which is what I want to happen in order to use that elimination method. So I'm going to rewrite that first equation, take that negative 3 through, so we have negative 6a, then negative 3 times 3b would be minus 9b, then negative 3 times negative 1, which would be positive 3. Okay, then we are going to multiply the second one through by 2. So 2 times 3a is 6a. 2 times 5b is plus 10b. 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. All right, now I've got those opposites that I wanted in the a's. So I can go ahead and add those two equations together, and that should eliminate my a's and indeed it does. Negative 6a plus 6a is no a's, they're all gone. 10b, or negative 9b plus 10b is just 1b, or b. Then that's going to be equal to 3 plus negative 4, which would be negative 1. We've got our b. Now, we're going to go ahead, put that back into one of our two original equations can do either one. I'm going to take the first one. So we have 2a plus 3 times b. We found b to be negative 1. So 3 times negative 1. And that's going to be equal to negative 1. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and simplify. So 2a, 3 times negative 1 would be negative 3 equals negative 1. Then we want to get that a by itself. So let's get rid of the minus 3 do so by doing the opposite. So add 3 on both sides. We have 2a is equal to negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Then finally our last step to get the a by itself, we divide by 2 on both sides. We have a equals 1. All right. In our ordered pair, remember again, we put them in alphabetical order. So it will be 1, negative 1. All right. So the elimination method it allows us to get rid of one of the two variables in a system and then solve for that. Once we found that first variable, we can put it back in to solve for the other variable. And our solutions will be in the form of ordered pairs. Hope this was helpful. Good luck.